Hello guys, this is Samir from Extreme Droid and I am really excited to make this review video for you guys. Because finally Nexus has released the Nexus Experience ROM for Redmi 2 and Redmi 2 Prime, which is the most stable ROM available yet. And the best thing is that it is official. So in this video I am going to do an in-depth review of this ROM. So let's get started. The first thing is that this is an AOSP based ROM which is actually a hybrid of stock Android Marshmallow and Cyanogen mod. So your experience will be like stock Android plus you will get all the awesome features of Cyanogen mod. Isn't it cool? Now as you can see that I am holding a Redmi 2 Prime. It is running on the latest Nexus experience ROM which is based on Android 6.0.1. Let me show you that first. I am really a big fan of Nexus ROM, but sadly, they are only available on Nexus and Motorola devices, but thanks to the developer for porting this ROM to our Redmi 2 devices. First, talking about look and feel. The look and the feel of this ROM is as pure as the stock Android. I am using this ROM since 4 days and it literally feels like I am using a Nexus device. The UI of the ROM is smooth and fast, I did not notice any lag. Second, battery performance. Moving to its battery performance which is more than what I expected from a custom ROM because there is always a battery issue in the custom ROMs. I had also tested the doze mode which is so called feature of Android Marshmallow and I am really very glad to tell you that it is working fine. I am getting about 4 and a half hours of screen on time which is good. Moving to its camera. It has a stock Google camera which is nice but boring. You did not get so many features on this camera and the interface is also simple. But when I tested this camera it performs above average. You can check out some sample images. There are also some advanced options like manual exposure, power shutter and bright screen. Moving to its video quality, it can record full HD 1080p videos without any problem. So you can check out this sample video. I have taken this from Redmi 2 Prime. You can also shoot 720p video from the front camera. So the overall camera performance is good and acceptable. Coming to its gaming performance. I usually don't do gaming reviews, but this ROM made me very curious to check how the games are running on this Nexus ROM. So I tried some 3D games like Leo's Fortune and Asphalt 8. Surprisingly both the games performed very well. Yeah, I encountered some heating issue while playing Asphalt 8 but I think it is common. Next in the list is sound and music. Sadly the sound and the music department of the ROM is quite weak. It does not have any inbuilt sound enhancing app like audio effects which is usually present in all custom ROMs. And the worst part is that it does not have any pre-installed music player which is very disappointing. But if we move forward to the sound quality, the sound quality in a speaker as well as in earbuds is loud and clear which is the only good thing I find. If you want to improve the music experience, you can download a third party app, N7 Player, from the Play Store. It has inbuilt equalizer. Now talking about its feature. Nowadays the main concern of every user is how many features we will get on a custom ROM. So you don't have to worry about this ROM. All the features of Android Marshmallow like Google Now on Tap, Multi Window Option, Doze Mode, Apps Permission etc. all are working. Plus you will get a bunch of Cyanogen mod features like theme engine through which you can change the entire look and feel of your device and a screencast which can be used to record the screen of your device. There are also some other features like you can double tap on the status bar to power off your device and if you pull the status bar from right 
tiles page will come down and if you pull it from left or center the notification page will come down so at the end talking about the overall performance the overall performance of the rom is excellent like the ram management is far better than miui i always get around 800 mb to 1 gb free ram during heavy usage the other thing like swiping between the apps is also very easy and lag free there is also no hitting issue so the overall performance is very nice most of the people who are watching this video will be thinking about that what are the bugs in this rom so let me tell you about the bugs i really did not encounter any bug i am testing this rom since 4 days and it is almost 100% stable which i am very glad to say this is the most stable rom i have ever used on my redmi 2 prime so my final verdict is that this is a must try rom and i will also recommend this rom over the miui and if you want to know how to install this rom just click the above link so guys this is samir signing off and if you like this video please let me know that in the comment section so guys see you in my next video and don't forget to click the subscribe button